What's up, world? <laughs> Good morning. I just woke up not that long ago. I am up on the Muggy and Rim. And this place is north of a city called Payson. Yeah, and you go up north of Payson, and there's a lot of lakes that are. Yeah, uh, there'll be five or six different lakes up here. And I've always loved coming up here just because it's so peaceful. It smells like air freshener. <laughs> It's just, it's a really great area. So um, I wanted to come up here and try to shoot the sunrise. But as you can see, the sun's coming up, but there's not a lot of action in the sky. So it's just kind of a slowly getting lighter type of thing. Um, there's a little bit of light in the clouds back there, what little clouds there are, but not really enough to get what I originally imagined in my mind. So. So I drove up here last night, kind of in the middle of the night, and um, just decided to camp out, get a few hours of sleep while I was up here. As soon as I got down to the water this morning, at the first crack of light, I saw it's basically a stump sitting out in the water. Um, when I walked up to it though, the moon was directly behind it, which is a full moon, well, almost a full moon tonight. And it just looked really, really cool. So right off the bat, it was still pretty much dark, but I shot that one and a couple other ones. So I'll probably post those up here as well, at least one other one. But um, yeah, that came out really cool. Uh, luckily I got those before the sun came up because not a lot of color in the sky right now. So kind of bummed out about that, but I'm gonna go throughout the morning. Um, I'd like to kind of shoot some of the trees but I think I'm gonna have to go do a different area for that because I was walking around where it should be thicker trees and they've been coming through and just cutting them down. So that kind of stinks. That's one reason I really like to come up here is the abundance of pine trees and thick woods that are out here. But I don't know. I mean, they had a uh, wildfire about a year and a half, two years ago that burned down a lot of this area. So they're probably clearing it for that reason, logging, they're not very big trees, so I wouldn't really see it for logging. But it's kind of sad. It's big clearings and stuff, so it is what it is. I was really looking forward to uh, getting maybe a little bit of misty smoke or something like that, hoping for a little bit of fog because the humidity's been up and down, and uh, it's nice and cool. It might have dropped into the 30s last night. I don't think so. I think it was in the mid-40s, um, but it got fairly cool. Yeah, <laughs> didn't wake up to any fog either, so, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and walk around, see what I can kind of come up with. Um, it's a beautiful area, so something's going to come up, but it, I'm really glad that I got that first shot and some other shots. It might be my favorite of the day. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what I can come up with and uh, start walking around and doing some hiking. So I'm going to get on it. All right, so I did find this shot kind of the scenery behind me. One thing I really liked was the grass, kind of a dead grass that came up to the surface, laid down and died. And it's got a real interesting texture in the water. It makes it look pretty cool. Um, but to really get that to be one of the main focuses in the foreground, I'm gonna have to walk out there in the water. That's not gonna happen. But I tried my best. I got out on this little stump, which I can show you right there. That's about as far out as I went. So, um, yeah, I wasn't able to get it, but there's this, another little uh, stump right there that looks like it actually engulfed a rock, which is kind of cool. <laughs> you know, with the uh, live grass in the foreground and got that to be my main subject. So I think it came out okay. You know, I mean, nothing real great, but uh, I'd say I'm probably happy with it. I'll have to see what it looks like whenever I get back to the computer, but um, I was thinking maybe I can go run off to another place to maybe get some of the sun rays coming through. I don't know, maybe maybe I can find a place that isn't cleared out so much as it is here. So I'm walking back to the road that I came in on and uh, came across this little stump that's pretty cool. Let me show you. You know, there's the two stumps there. I didn't want to get that one in, so I kind of you know cut it off like that but um it's got a nice sunset behind it there's a lot of color in the sky back there had to remove a couple pieces of trash that people threw there 
As a matter of fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and stick some stuff in my pocket and go ahead and pack their stuff out with me. You know, but uh, I always try to pick up any trash that I see out here. Just to show you real quick, the uh, road is right there. And it's cutting right through my scene, basically. And um, that kind of stunk. I didn't really want that. There's some uh, fencing in the background. I didn't really want that either. So what I did is I just dropped the horizon or dropped the uh, camera down to kind of make the horizon more compact, if that makes sense. You know, it's going to lift up all the low things and drop down the high just to where it's not so visible. So you're still going to be able to see the road, but it's not going to be like at my height. So I've got the camera three and a half feet, something like that. But yeah, I think this is going to come out cool. It's not looking spectacular in the camera, but I think a little bit of tweaking and post editing, it's going to bring out a lot of color in the sky like I'm seeing right here. And uh, lots of cool textures and stuff in that stump or roots or whatever it is, but very cool. I like that. So I have a feeling this one's going to turn out pretty good too. And with that said, the sun is starting to peek over the horizon and I'm going to go run to a spot. I will see you at the next spot. <laughs> I just thought I would laugh here for a second and show you I'm getting a picture of this tree that was really, really cool. Um, and I'm getting sidetracked. I don't know if I'm going to get the picture that I'm thinking of, but I'm coming across some cool shots. And uh, yeah, there's one I came up to. I took it at eye level, didn't work. Got a little bit lower, got closer, got further, walked around it, got different angles, and here I am laying on the ground with my camera laying on the ground. <laughs> Getting as low as I possibly can to uh, get the angle that I wanted on this tree here. It's got this gnarly kind of branch sticking out, and uh, it's kind of a massive tree sitting out on its own and it had some really unique branches and um, had a lot of character to it so I wanted to get it I wanted to get uh, the feeling I was getting when I was walking up to it so yeah I just had a laugh I'm sitting here laying on the ground thinking nobody ever sees this kind of stuff aha uh -huh. there you go the things we go through not bad it actually feels good I didn't get a lot of sleep yeah so sitting here driving along going to the next lake it's all these cool trees sitting out here kind of on their own these little I don't know what kind of trees they are aspens nestled in a group of uh, pine trees here and they just kind of really stood out like I've said in past videos see something that catches your eye check it out and see why it's catching your eye see if you can capture that in a photograph so that's what I'm gonna do here let's kind of show you behind me that's what I was looking at just uh, looking out the window driving down the road so I'm gonna see what I can pull out of it real quick I'm gonna check some different compositions see what I can get for a foreground see how I can uh, position all these little trees amongst the pine trees to make it work see how it goes so if it comes out good enough It'll probably go up right here. Okay, so I moved on to the next place here. And uh, this is Woods Canyon Lake. This is a different lake than the one that I was at this morning. Anyway, I came to Woods Canyon Lake, which is the lake that I've been to before. And it's awesome. I love it here. I absolutely love it here. It's great, great views, <laughs> you know. Um, but I want to show you real quick what I was looking at as soon as I pulled into the parking lot area looked off to the left side and I'm like there it is <laughs> you know it's this little alcove area here and I'm gonna show you and this is kind of what I saw pulling in was just these rocks lit up and stuff like that but when I came back over here and you're not even really going to be able to see it unless you get real low but there's a nice S line going out into the water. So I'm going to go down to the level of where my camera is 
and see how much that changes. You know, just the height of where you're at uh, in the position of the camera completely changes the composition on it. So this one I like, I focus stacked it. We'll see how it comes out. I mean, it's still gonna be an awesome shot even if it's not perfectly tap sharp, tack sharp right in the beginning of the picture, you know, but um, the leading line is gonna take you right out into the water and uh, you're not gonna be looking at it too much, I don't think, I hope not. <laughs> if it is a little bit off focus or something like that, don't sue me, please. Uh, but yeah, beautiful area, beautiful little alcove and uh, happy with this one. And I'll be happy with this one. All right, so I think I'm gonna close with that shot right there. Um, definitely, I think it's gonna be one of the better ones of the trip here. Uh, I got a few good ones, a few bad ones. Probably not gonna be, see some of the bad ones, but um, yeah, I'm gonna chill out for a little bit longer, just kind of enjoy it. Beautiful, beautiful area. I'm gonna go and close with this. I'm gonna go get myself some breakfast because I'm starving now. <laughs> Haven't had anything to eat all night. Basically been up all night. Thank God for energy drinks. It gave me that little boost of uh, energy that I needed. Um, you know, after waking up after a long day and a short amount of sleep. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna fill up, take my long drive home, um, and I look forward to looking at these on the computer. I think I got some good ones. So um, yeah, I'm gonna close with that. Till next time, hit the subscribe button, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you next time.